What is going on guys, this is Epic Spawn the Unit here, and welcome to Grounded, the full release. Now, it's been a long time since I've played this game, but I actually played it on the channel when it first came out two years ago, on a uh, game preview. I played it on the Xbox, I'm still on the Xbox, and today, as the day I'm recording this, it has came out for 1.0, and I'm very excited. I have not played it extendedly since uh, the last time I played it for the YouTube series, for the, the YouTube Let's Play. I went in every now and then to see if the beginning had changed, I looked at the patch notes every now and then, but I really like waited patiently for this full release and don't know much about this new version. So I'm going into it, not as blind obviously, but pretty much as blind as I did last time I played. And uh, I I played this game a ton when it first came out and I've been I've been waiting so long for this. We're going to go with Max like hey, we originally nice did. You. The name's Max. We're going to name Max our world uh, All right. Perfect. Hey, I'm very I'm very excited for this. I've been waiting so long. I've been waiting all day. And I intend on making this a full let's play. We now have the full story. Oh. You think you have smarted me? The mighty Mordor? I don't think so, Yoked Girth. Stay tuned for what happens next on Yoked Girth. Now a word from our sponsor. Yoked Girth? Are you ready for a new wild and wacky Puncho fruit flavor? Introducing Apricot. It's a punch to the gut. So stop by, fill up, and make sure you get your Billy Hog hot dog before you get away. Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news. In the business world, Auckland Practical Technology signed a new deal with... She said more teenagers. Like, it's not just these four. Wow, they added so much to this beginning. I opened the game last night to look at it, and this wasn't in it. This is brand new with the full release. It's a little grainy. Is that just me? That's us. We're in that we're in that little briefcase. Uh, what? Damn. Where am I? Are those Roots? Wow. <laughs> Can't be. Oh, this must be one of those those prank TV shows. <laughs> All right, be cool, Max. You're gonna be famous. They added a whole like wake up sequence. And why did we drop into it and on a like behind a parachute? Why isn't the parachute here? That kind of bugs me. Uh, I'm, I see some water. I'm gonna grab that real quick. This is a, this is a blueprint. Yeah. Okay, so I think it goes without saying. What was that? He did not have a voice before. I wonder where he's coming from. The scab talks to you now. 
Wait, what did that say? Let's go back to another one. Oh, trash? I can just get rid of it? Huh. Interesting. Alright, so we got a first field station. Hello, Weevil. Good to see you again. Use the resource analyzer. Well, sure thing. Well, someone had to have set up all this sciencey stuff here. But still, I'm not exactly sure where this is and what is going on. I should keep looking around. This is brain power unlocks. So do you unlock stuff in levels instead of per item now? Because that's kind of what that looks like. Increasing brain power to higher level levels unlock new crafting recipes and blueprints. The latter shown hints at what's possible with a sufficient sufficiently yoked mine. Okay, so instead of having to find this specific material, you can get it through whatever, just as long as you get the brain power. Okay, that makes it a little easier to find new 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 things, probably. Um, you're gonna have to excuse me. I'm gonna be making plant slurry. That's new. I'm more than likely gonna be making quite a bit of comparisons to the way it used to be, because that's the only version I know. You can still only do this three times. Pub it spear. Definitely going to be making one of those spears. Okay, that's all I have for now. And I got no brain I don't got no brain power to level up. Uh, and I think it goes without saying, the first episode or two is going to be me pretty much just catching up on what I did before. Uh, and hopefully I can do pretty much the same thing I did before, was record for an hour and edit it down to about 20-30 minutes. But yeah, first one or two episodes is just going to be me catching up on what I did before in the previous version that I played. Uh, Whoa, I'm assuming this is the same? Honestly... I'm just glad it's not big enough to squish me. So I know we gotta press this. Showtime. Ha <laughs> ha, just like laser tag. Nothing happened. Looks like the other two lasers are blocked. After all, right. all that build up, this big mysterious computer doesn't do anything. Man. Fella. The... It's amazing how crystal clear the blades of grass are right in front of me and then how blurred everything is the focus is almost disorienting like it's really cool and i appreciate it because obviously there's nothing back there to, to look at it's just okay uh so we know what to do we need to chop down that blade of grass and then we need to go kill the mites destroying that laser i want to see if i can remember how to do this uh craft this is a thick paste of blended blended plant bits that doesn't tell me what it does, but okay. We need the we need the axe. We need some rope and some sprigs. Oh, I need I need more and more. I need okay, so fibers, sprig. And while I'm collecting these materials, I'll go ahead and talk about about my previous experience um first of all that was that's like one of my most proud things i've done on this youtube channel was make grounder videos yeah open map hot deposit nearby storage and so i highly recommend you check that out because it was a lot of fun and i'm really proud of it and I will more than likely be rewatching it just to see how far the game has gone, how far the game has come. Uh, but one of the big things I'm gonna try this time is I played in third person mode. Can I still open this? Oh, I can. Of course, I can't break it. Oh, you can. Can you actually get in it now? Oh, you can. Okay, so you, before you use that to make the strongest weapon in the game, I doubt it's the strongest weapon now. Uh, but uh, as I was saying, I played in third person mode to cope with the spiders in the game because I am terrified hey, of spiders, <laughs> Sp 
Spe specifically the spiders in this game, because this is low-key a horror game. And I'm not just talking about the spiders either. There's a lot of things in this game, especially now that they weren't in it before. But uh, this, this, I'm terrified of spiders. And uh, it gets pretty intense in this game. So I played in third person to try to combat that a little. I didn't want to use the arachnophobia mode. Uh, so I'm going to try to play first person because that's how a lot of people played it. And I think that's mainly how it's intended to be played. Oh, I'm kind of hungry. Let's make some... I got enough of rope. And then I think I need... Oh, I got it. Okay, cool. Let's make an axe. And then it's like a spear, just to be safe. Bandage. Okay, and that's all the materials I've seen. Alright. Hog champ. Now hopefully, yeah, this, so it's all in my hotbar. Is there, do I have to use this wheel? I guess I do. Alright, so first we can come up here. Chop down this blade of grass. Uh, make sure you... Uh, yeah. I don't want to say I can see a difference in the grass. But I can see a difference. I don't know. I'm super excited to play this. Uh, we don't eat this right now. But we keep it stay a little organized. I could eat weevil meat. But I don't have anything to... Cook it on. Ah, oh, what's nearby that I can eat? I'm trying to remember. There's honeydew. If I can find honeydew. This, it's amazing how much just like it just looks more crisp. Like fundamentally, it doesn't look any different, but I just feel like it's. I don't know, maybe it's just been a while since I played. That's probably part of it. But there's a, a a ton more insects in the backyard now than there used to be. There's uh, mosquitoes. I think there's a moth. There's bees, and then there's like the brood mother, the big old spider boss that you don't want to f with. Uh, I'm trying to get to that laser. There we go. Looks like that little red thing's itching for a douche. Good douche. Oh, these things are a lot uglier. <laughs> I'm close. Let me tell you. This is really different than third person. Uh, before there was a wolf spider that like patrolled kind of nearby. Oh shit. Hey, Ant, you're not attacking me, right? Okay, you kind of came at me all odd like. Okay, I'm already low on health. That's great. My spear doing? My spear is fine. Uh, it is kind of dark in here? So, I can make a torch if I can remember. Oh, I probably don't have the, the recipe for that yet. Ah, oh, piss. It's so dark in here, though. Eh. Is it gonna let me? Oh, it is gonna let me. Nice. Uh, I need to go out and find some dry grass. Luckily for me, conveniently placed, bitch. Timber. Looks like a mine up ahead. And we just got a couple more. Oh, these guys might kill me, low key. Oh, uh, band aid. I hate to say it, or I hate to say I need a bandaid already. There's a bee. Hi, bee. Probably don't want to mess with you anytime soon. It's not. A, it's not. It's a bee. It's not a wasp. So hopefully it'll leave us alone. But this guy's gonna kill me. Ha! <laughs> oh. Trying to block it. I just got killed by a mite. Son of a bitch. Oh! Oh, it spawned me at the shelter. That's new. It didn't just send me straight back to the case. Damn it. 
We can grab these for uh, another version of pills. That used to be quartz. Investigate the machine further. Okay, so we should be at the point now that the machine should work. I'll grab all these. And uh, we'll see if the same thing happens. The uh, cinematic for this next part was pretty uh, lackluster. Before, you know, obviously. I should just stop comparing it. You know, I should just just play. Get rid of the torch so I don't waste it. And I still kind of need food. I haven't ate anything. I haven't seen any mushrooms. Mushrooms was a good source. There's another blueprint. Uh, I think that, yeah, mushrooms over there. Screw that, Nat. Mushrooms! Uh, hold on. Wait. Here we go. I'm not picky. It's like an actual eating animation. Was there an eating animation before? I don't think there was. Uh, we could probably scan a couple things now. Oh, we shall do this first. Uh, yeah. Bees! Oh, there's like a toy thing over there! Wow, there's way more in this background than there used to be! something that sounded like a big far off explosion okay uh i th i remember before i made a lot of effort to prepare for this area and now i'm severely aware that there's a ton of wolf spiders over here so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna gather some oh i get juice why is it so bouncy uh there's a ton of wolf spiders at this tree and i spent a lot of time preparing for it last time but uh, for that let's play, it was pretty much just, uh, you met Burgle at the tree, and then that was the end of the story. So, I th hopefully we can pretty much just catch up this episode, and the next episode we'll be getting a lot of the materials we had. Uh, like, I know there's a two-handed weapon we can make out of... Hello, B? We good? <laughs> Alright. Glad we're good. Uh, I know there's a two-handed weapon, or there used to be a two-handed weapon you can make with uh, thistles. Off of uh, the flower that's somewhere over there. Assuming it's still there. And then you can make uh, some low-tier armor. And, you know, just a bunch of stuff. I might do some stuff off-camera just to kind of catch up to where I was. I don't know. Uh, let's scan. Let's scan the... What's going to be good? Oh, let's make sure to scan this. I don't know if it's gonna actually... Okay. Cool. We got a ton of stuff. So we get recipes per item and then get stuff per level as well? Not actually sure how that works. Fuzz on the rocks? Why are we making cocktails? I'm a high schooler. Uh, probably a hammer. Okay, so you unlock them if you don't already know them. So I just unlocked the hammer. Okay. That makes sense. And you can pretty much just scan everything, I think. Workbench! Hell yeah. Alright. Alright, we're at the tree. And, if it's consistent to the way it was before... Uh, there's no wolf spiders out. There's some orb weavers out, but not, like, on the tree. Uh, the wolf spiders only come out at night. Well, they start patrolling at night. There's one wolf spider, uh, to the entrance to this laboratory that patrols around, and you just kind of, you just kind of gotta hope you don't run into it. And, uh, hoping only kind of works. So we're gonna... See if we can meet Burgle before it gets dark. And, uh... Because once we meet Burgle, we're pretty much caught up with the story. <laughs> with all the story that was in the game before. 
And uh, I'm not looking forward to any uh, type 1 close encounters with the, with the arachnids. Uh, okay, I'm just kind of trying to keep my head on a swivel. Because I don't need no surprise attacks. I would like to sleep tonight. Okay, this is kind of the point you just have to run. I don't see no legs. So we go. Ah! Okay, we're here. <laughs> And, uh, there was a bug to where that spider could, like, aggro onto you from all the way out yonder. So hopefully they fix that. Because you would hear it the whole time you were down here. Got a problem with pink, Max? We don't. We like pink. Pink and purple. We saw his analyzer. Oh, I can scan things again. Spiky sprig. That is what I wanted. I need thistles, I believe, uh, from that flower I was talking about. I uh, there was a. That's new. That has no power. Oh, there's no longer that little puzzle. I'm gonna save here. <laughs> if I die, I don't want to have to come all the way back. Uh, YouTube, let's play. Yes, save there. Yes. Nice. Hell yeah. Alright. <gasps> Is that all sap? <gasps> yes. What's this what's the stack size? Gimme. Hell yeah. This is the, the haze, so that's like the radio radioactive biome. Air, contam air contamination. The black ant hill? There's black ants? Social security lockdown in effect. The hedge. Okay, the hedge is where the bird mother was before. Oh, and these are different labs. The pond. Okay, so that's like, hey. So I'm sure that's probably where I need to be going eventually. Uh, no power? Oh, no, I don't have access. Unauthorized access. Oh! There was something in here that attacked you before. I'm gonna make sure it's clear. Raw. Science, you are off the hook. Alright, there's nothing in here, so here's some clear. Oh, it was a bug around. Nice. There's a ton of stuff I can't use yet, so what's up, Burgle? We'll get this taken care of. Oh, I gotta help him up. Hello? There we go. System reboot in progress. Hey! It's my favorite tiny robot! Thanks for the helping hand! No I am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot! I am <laughs> sure tell, this must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. You're a robot, so I'll let it slide that you've repeated yourself. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. We have a name now. Dr. Tully, you say. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. Don't know what happened. And what's worse... The explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? Uh, where am I? You are here, in the Oak Lab. 
built and used by Dr. Wendell Tatelli to experiment on all things small. Was he small? This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Uh, we're gonna go with how come I can't remember it anything. Seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. <laughs> Can we use some smaller words? Jeez. In other words, you have been shrunk. It oh, okay. This was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent pending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully, your memory will return in time. Dr. Tully Who is, is Dr. a brilliant Tully? scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my c c corrupted memory banks. Well, how do I get home, Virgo? To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. Damn I am it. sorry. But it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Well, can we fix it? God damn it. <laughs> that is a great idea. Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing. By all means. Processing. Oh, you can just do it right there? Memory fault. Code 408B3000. Ominent OS script runtime error. Arg. I am sorry again. <laughs> It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Memory chips? Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Okay. Super chips are special, and they are gold. They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. Dr. Tully there are other labs? Has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Processing. Processing. Error. <laughs> Files not found. Code 632C404. Cheese and fries. The lab locations are missing from my memory banks too. There's a camera over there. But, but I got it. In luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities. The hedge lab. Is that where I gotta go first? What's the hedge, the hedge lab, lab Burgle? Is the observation center of the yard. And used for research on arachnid webbing. Oh, I don't think so. You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the hedge. Sending the coordinates to your scabby. Deep inside the hedge? Try to find the hedge lab first. But there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL network of computers too. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. In my right. science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those ch ships. And try not to die out there. Have an exponentially great day! 
You do, Burgle. Oh, can I uh, input my... Ah, yes, I didn't hold it, my bad. Can I now use these doors? Purchase and upgrade in the science shop using the ASL terminal. This thing. Science shop. Smithing station? Workstation used to upgrade weapons using various materials. The whetstone, the brittle plating. Okay. Cooking 101? Not nachos? Might loaf? Oh. My dear God. Multi-story bases, pebblet foundation. Oh, I am suddenly overwhelmed by the amount of stuff in this game. Torch plus. Meat shield. Uh, I think that's a mutation. There are mutations in this game. Uh, a question of new- Alright. Oh, I can skin for uh, scabby science. He pronounced it scabby, so that's how I'm gonna pronounce it from now on. Have to keep things clean. There's experimentation to be done. All right. So this is very neat. Um, I guess I'll buy the smithing station since it's so cheap. And I can get quests. Uh, grave robbery. Find the grave robbery burgle chip. Uh, in a hill to the west is where you start this quest. Straight through a, ro a rooted room gets you closer to the tomb. Past a tunnel of red rest, a soul that is dead. Uh, down the hole lies your goal. Kill aphids, aphids, clover shin guards. Craft clover shin guards. Okay, well, I can do these. I don't know if there's uh, a time limit. I'm gonna leave the chip sluice there for now, cause I don't know where that is or if I have the materials to do so. Uh, let's see if we can access the the room over here. Oh, I have. Oh, I need water. Can I get into this now? Oh, let's go. We got some science. Some actual power going through these batteries. Wow, they did. Science is surprisingly awesome. So is that a tune? Take that, vampire! Ah, oh, I definitely think that's a tooth. I won't ask anything about it though. I, none of my business. A lot of this is my business, but I won't make that my business. A uh, yoked girth milk molar calcium chewable. Slurp the vitamin infused pulp core to grow stronger. Get yoked? Okay. It's a calcium chewable. It's a. It's a. It's a the vitamin. <laughs> This morning, I installed the borrowed lab modules. Another one of my forgotten inventions from the early days. I had such grand notions back then. The Kinder Science Mini Quick Little Chemist Lab Educational Toy for Children. But no, Wendell, we can't possibly put hydrochloric acid into the hands of children. The lawyers will never agree. <laughs> it's a good thing I never told them about the Bunsen burners. <laughs> Odd that Ominent has been using my toy pieces in this way. Hmm. I digress. The lab network is now up and running in the backyard. I'm planning to dedicate each one of them to a different function. Main power will run through here. The Oak Lab is the center of operations for the backyard. The second lab is nestled into the hedge. Such wonderful views from up there. Side note, I'm worried that Ominent's shoddy manufacturing of the lab pieces will cause them to fall apart over time, but they will do for now. And then I found another chip here. I have isolated the source of the particle irregularities. They appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking process. 
If I adjust the machine to account for their existence, it should be the key to the de-shrinking, uh, expanding process. Virgil, please bring up the readings for the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle traces. Ugh, that name is going to get tiresome. Hmm. And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle to raw science. Order received. Raw science identified. Does it require cooking, flipping, or g -g -g grilling? No, 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 none of those. Categorization. That answer is not permitted, according to health code standards governing the handling of raw food items. There's another one here. Virgil transcription unit, 87.9.5. Order number one. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Hello, my name is Virgil, and I will be serving you today. I specialize in cooking, flipping, and g -g grilling. Grilling? A feature useful only to your obsolete burger flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap? I need you to monitor these readings, Virgil. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? Understood. Appending monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list. Deprioritizing grilling. Good. Now get on with it. Reprioritizing grilling. Okay, and then I found... <laughs> I think there's two more. There's one here. One success after another! I have returned Burgle to his original size! It appears that my new raw science containment field is working at 99% effectiveness. 98.5%. Right, Burgle, right. However, as Burgle indicates, there is some minor insignificant raw science leakage. A note for another time. Noted. But I see no reason to put off a human trial. I believe there should be no issues, but Audentes Fortuna Yuat, I am ready to prove my creation's full potential. End recording. Virgil, I'd like to record some messages for my family in case things do not go as planned. Oh. Okay, and then I got. Ah. Oh. Uh, do I need to read all of that? Ugh, so thirsty. I drink anything. Oh shit, I am dying, dying. Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure it's piss water, but I think there's water down here. And uh, we'll have to come back for that file. Oh, th this was an ant hill before, which is not a huge deal. Got a quartzite shard. Are you just fine quartzite now? That's pretty cool. Is it more here? It's a milk bowler. We got a calcium. Whoa, it's a giant. About a calcium. Oh, oh, it's like blocking a path. That's a bullshit. Okay. Uh, drink or die. Oh, I gotta. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Um, is there water down here? This is water over there. Okay, well, I gotta do it or die. Whoa, water. <laughs> Pink? I can't really describe how terrible this tastes. Well, we got water. Uh, unfortunately, I think I'm stuck down here. He never told me science could be this exciting. Uh... Nice. Okay, I'm not creeped out. There's a lab somewhere nearby? That's what that means, right? As long as they're all worker ants, I'm good. Oh, gosh, just shit. They're not all worker ants, there's some soldiers down there. That's what the threat is. Where do I get back up? Hit! Please don't fall! Please don't fall! Please don't fall! 
Okay. Solid. Okay. Uh, it's still night time. Oh, I can check out the file now. It's gone. There it is. Uh, pre-test notes. Okay. Uh, no offense. I don't really want to read that. Okay, it's. I would love to get back to the machine. <laughs> However, it is nighttime. Nighttime is bad. Nighttime has the capability to be bad. Especially now, I think mosquitoes? Come out at night now? Uh... Okay, let's see if we can pull this off. We need to go to craft, lean toe. It goes without saying, but that is a big <laughs> fight. My torch went out. Well, um, I'm gonna have to see here and wait for daytime because I'm sure as hell not going out there. But I think that's gonna be the end of this episode here. So we are at the point to where. Uh, where the story ended, our last Let's Play. So, obviously, there's a ton more going on. And, uh, next episode, we'll probably, uh, make some armor, make some weapons, maybe start looking at the base building. Just, uh, you know, we're still a little bit on the catch-up. You know, it's gonna be a little bit before we start exploring. But we got a ton more information. We got some names that those names were never in the game before. Or maybe they were... It's been two years since I've played. I don't know. Um, but yes, I'm I'm very excited. I'm very excited to play this and bring you guys these videos. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button down below. And subscribe if you're new around here. But that's totally up to you. Check out my other Grounded Let's Play just to see uh, how far this, ga this game has come. Not to mention, I was super proud of it. I want to bid you a good day. And just in case I don't see you later, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Bye!